in science. In this video, I'd like to talk about multiplication made easy and learning your times tables, and you can use your hands as a prop. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. In this video, I'm going to do two, three, fours, and five. First rule of thumb is um, the way I have my hands set up, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And what you can do is this pinky is always the five, and there's a rule for five. If the number is even, then this five will add an end in zero. If it is odd, it will add in five, except for the number one. And this thumb, which is ten, you just always add a zero to the number you're multiplying by. So what you can do is, since we have two, two is even, and I know add a 0 to the 2, and you have 20, and half of that is 10. So that kind of gives you an anchor. Now, with the 2s, you have a pattern. You have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and then you just repeat that pattern and add a 1. So you have 2, which is 12, 4, 14, 6, is 16, 8 is 18, and then you have 20. Okay, so it's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Remember, it's an even number, so it will end in 0, and then 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. So there are your 2s. Up next are your 3s. Okay, up next are your 3s, and 3s are a bit like 7. There's not really a pattern to follow. But let's go ahead and rule, use what we've already learned. We know that the pinky, 3 is odd, so it's going to end in 5. The thumb is 10, so you add a 0. So I think in my mind, half of 30 is going to be 15. So that's kind of your anchor. And I can kind of add 3 in my head. So I have 3, and if I add 3, it's 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. I already know the pinky is going to be 15. 15 plus 3 is 18. I can do 18 plus 21 in my head. 18 plus 3 is 21, 24, 27, and 30. And with the 27, you know that the 30 is going to be 3 less, so that's 27. But 3 is one where you have to kind of just memorize or just practice it. So it's 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27 and 30. Okay, next we have the fours. And I like the fours because they have a pattern. So again, let's apply what we know about our fifth pinky. We know that four is even, so it's going to add an end in zero, so it's 20. The thumb is going to be at a zero, which makes it 40. Half of 40 will be 20, so that kind of gives you the five. And you'll notice there's a pattern. It goes 4, 8, 12, 16. We know about number 5. 4 times 5 is 20. And then the pattern repeats again. 4, 24, 8, 28, 2, 32, 6, 36, and 40. So if you can remember the pattern, 4, 8, 12, 6, or 4, 8, 2, 6, then you can... That will help you memorize your fours, okay? Once again, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, and 40. And finally, we have our fives coming up. And finally, we have our fives. I do have another video with uh, six, seven, eight, and nines, and I'll leave a link below. Okay, fives. I kind of do fives. Okay, first, we know that the number 5, 5 times 5, 5 is an odd number, so it's going to end in 5. We have the uh, thumb, it's 50 because you add a 0, half of 50 is 25. And I kind of do it, uh, kind of a rhythm a little bit. You go 5, 10, 